yesterday evening we rode on for quite a long time uh, until we found this uh, really beautiful dispersed camping spot and uh, we have no idea where we're gonna stay at tonight so now we're gonna pack up our gear have some breakfast and uh, continue riding because we're riding together with two fellow uh, Dutch bikers um, we met them uh, on the road and uh, yesterday we set up the campfire and it was really uh, fun to, to meet other people so now we're gonna break off the tent and uh, continue riding Thought so? Yeah. Babe, why can't you see? No hope in what's left of me. I had to tell you before I fall asleep. Sitting there on the edge, babe, knowing which way to lean. Riding the, the Transjura Trail, and uh, it has quite a lot of off road parts. My goggles are totally, uh, totally uh, rained over and fogged over, <laughs> so um, it's uh, misty inside of my helmet. <laughs> that also uh, has to do because I uh, had a kind of a moment, uh, a stressful moment uh, of my bike failing. Uh, so I had the bump started first uh, and it worked. Uh, first time bump starting, so that was uh, kind of fun. <laughs> but then when I didn't accelerate anymore, the, the motorcycle would go off again. And uh, when I tried to start it up, it didn't go. So we thought it was a, a pilot jet um, problem because it didn't have any um, power in the, the low uh, but uh, try starting it with giving a lot of gas. And uh, that worked out. Since then I haven't turned off the motorcycle, so I hope I don't... Uh, <laughs> So we arrived at a DNT shelter. We had a pretty uh, rough day in terms of weather. Yeah, it was really nice to arrive at this shelter and there were already uh, two uh, Dutch girls here actually that uh, already had a fire going. So that was pretty nice so we could dry our, uh, all our clothes. So um, yeah, in, in these shelters there are um, uh, some cooking supplies and uh, we uh, use that to, uh, to cook some uh, nice soft shell taco, what are they called, boats? <laughs> taco boats. Tomorrow when I wake up, I promise to tell you more about the, the shelters and the system and how they work. So uh, we've uh, slept at the DT shelter, or DT cabin. Uh, Norway is covered by all these cabins, so uh, there are really a lot of them and they're all different uh, Some of them have electricity, some of them don't uh, Or have food uh, which you can buy as well to open these uh, cabins You need to have like a key a knuckle to get a knuckle you need to be a member of DNT and you get them uh, at a tourist information store. So we went to one and got one uh, of the keys. And it's really simple. Uh, you pay a deposit and then when you're done with the key you can bring it back and get your money back. We met uh, two girls. They uh, told us that they were hiking uh, in the area and that they hiked from cabin to cabin. 
and uh, don't even bring their own food with them so they buy it at one of these cabins and uh, so they don't have to carry all the weight of like a tent, sleeping bag or food I will show you the cabin um, sorry for the mess because we need to clean up yet <laughs> Yesterday we arrived really late and uh, we were pretty tired, but uh, I'll show you. What the fuck did you Loop. to leave yeah. but it's still raining so we're going uh, to wait that out uh, probably we're uh, uh, still at the DMT shelter uh, it's really cool we have a fire going and uh, ate some uh, good breakfast <laughs> so uh, so we have enough energy to uh, to ride on today um, we I think we're going to wait for a few minutes until the rain passes or the, the worst of the rain passes maybe drink some tea and coffee and then uh, ride on to our next camping spot we don't know where that is yet, but we'll see, and we'll take you with us, of course. So, uh, see you there. We're now running to the other cabin, because it's already raining again. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing with Scandinavia. If you're here, don't expect to be in sunny weather. <laughs> Hello. Hello. The DR guy is checking his brakes <laughs> because uh, yesterday he was riding. Uh, we were riding in the rain all day, and uh, I think he was riding in front. And at one point he uh, uh, ran into a to a bit of a tight corner and he tried to brake, but his brakes didn't work. He uh, he said that it was a tight corner like this, and at the time um, he really took. Uh, yeah, he was going normal speeds. And uh, was just lucky not to uh, to went out of the corner. So after that, he started riding a bit more slowly. So we could tell, like, oh, there's probably something going on. <laughs> but now we're riding to the to the nearest by um, uh, gas station to bleed his brake lines, and uh, we needed to clean our chains anyway. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll do some maintenance and then. Uh, Right on from there. Come on, look at those shoes. So amazing. Quite lucky. We uh, found a dry spot to, uh, to first off uh, fix the, the, the brake again uh, of the bike, uh, and uh, it seems to be working again. So that's uh, really good. They um, uh, refilled it, and now it doesn't feel spongy anymore. So uh, hope it works well because we will uh, need it today. Because uh, it's still uh, pretty rainy, and also we need to go uh, up the mountains again when we uh, go riding. So we also uh, fixed the chains of uh, me and Luke's bike and we cleaned them with um, uh, nee, diesel, eh? How do you say diesel in English? Diesel. Oh. Yeah. Diesel. We've cle cleaned them with diesel. So uh, now uh, we've got something to eat. <laughs> and it doesn't look uh, that bad. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, what the fuck is he doing? Okay. 
Uh, if the tent is a bit roady, you gotta make it off road, right? But uh, yeah, we're uh, on our way to a shelter. We uh, we've ridden a bit through rain, and now it's cleared up a bit. Yeah, uh, Emma and, uh, and my communication system doesn't work. The system is still new. We uh, bought it just for uh, this trip uh, to Scandinavia. We had uh, the old system, uh, but. That one uh, didn't have that much reach, so only 18 meters. Oh, shit. This is like, um, like a paid road. Now, I usually have my navigation on, but at this moment I don't. Because I thought we were almost here, so uh, I can't see uh, which way we're going to, but... Uh, we're still riding uh, the Trench Hero Trail. <laughs> oh man, this seems to be amazing. Oh wow. So this night is really uh, luxury. We've got a uh, 10 out of 10 toilet with toilet paper and wood, dry wood, wow. But also a nice cabin. Oh wow. Oh. Wait. So we found the shelter. It's actually pretty cool. And uh, we saw it had a lakeside view with even a campfire place. So uh, I think we're uh, set for tonight. It even had some firewood. Uh, because we um, uh, couldn't find it, we're actually pretty happy with that um, because we wanted to buy it anyway uh, and there's uh, a small uh, cooking uh, stove in the in the shelter itself so it's a really nice place uh, again it uh, actually reminds me a lot of the, the shelters in Sweden so, uh shelter but uh, we arrived pretty late then uh, uh, still chilled a bit by the by the fire in the hut it was so nice it had kind of a furnace inside of it um, and it was really warm we uh, almost completed uh, complete um, uh, Tet Norway the Trans Euro Trail and it's an uh, off-road route that uh, uh, runs through the whole of Europe most of the Tet Norway was uh, Gravel, uh, gravel roads, but there were some uh, really cool gnarly bits. So today uh, we're probably going to complete the last uh, 140 kilometers and then uh, uh, get into Sweden. So uh, we're going to uh, pack up our stuff <laughs> and uh, slowly go to have some breakfast and uh, see you then. So.